Hi everybody. I hope you all are doing well out there. Um, I'm not a master of words, so when I get in front of a video camera, I tend to stammer a lot, so bear with me. But I wanted to share my experience about a word that we're all feeling right now, which is uncertainty. And we're all feeling it right now, um, from all the world leaders to the very last floor sweeper in your local grocery store. We're all feeling it in ways that we never imagined, whether it's through health or finances or our work or whatever. And um, so since I'm <laughs> intimately have an intimate relationship with uncertainty, I thought I'd pass along some of the things, share some of the things that I've learned from this word. So here goes. Um, there are basically three things that I've learned about uncertainty, resilience, um, resourcefulness, and getting to know my strengths and weaknesses. And the resilience comes from knowing certain points in my life over the last six years, because I, like I said, I've had an intimate relationship with this word for the last six years of my life, so it's become kind of a way of life for me. Um, I know what it's like to literally be on my last dollar, but I still came back. And... I know what it's like to feel alone and not have anyone to talk to, but I still came back. And I know what it's like to feel hopeless and even useless, but I still came back. And that's resilience. Um, that's something that I learned about myself that I didn't know I had. So that's a skill that, that I've developed. And I'm really glad because I feel like that has prepared me for this particular time. The other thing is the, um, is the word resourcefulness. Um, to not really rely, but to maybe, I, again, I don't know the words. Um, I've learned to become resourceful and in doing so that's helped me get through. And uh, I think this is where we can really help each other through this time by reaching out. If you feel like, if you're feeling alone or you feel like you need some help, reach out to somebody. Um, this virus is in our faces in ways that we never even imagined. And it's affecting all of us. Um, so if you feel a bit shaky, I urge you to reach out. Um, it's asking us to be still. And for many of us, that's a challenge because so many of us don't know how to be still. I mean, we've been trained, for lack of a better word, trained to just keep go, 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 go. And um, to be still is not something that we know much about. So if you feel like you don't know how to be still, reach out to somebody who does know how to be still and ask them questions. Uh, this could be for meditation or even just sitting and watching the birds for a while, which is what I've been doing for the last five minutes. <laughs> Um, get yourself out in nature as much as you can. I know a lot of us have been um, ordered to stay home, but you can still get out in nature uh, as long as you keep your distance from another person. And really get to know your strengths and weaknesses, especially your weaknesses, because when you learn about those, then you can see what kind of work that you need to do. Um, and it's going to be different for all of us. So, so anyway, there you have it. Um, those are things that I've learned 
about uncertainty. It's a great teacher, that word. Even though on the surface it's so uncomfortable. So take care and be healthy. Stay home. Keep breathing. <laughs> and be well. Stay in touch. I love you guys.